Hello Bashbees! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Christine and to those of you who haven't subscribed on my channel, please hit the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell to keep you updated whenever I have a new video like this one. Hello guys! Um, a lot of you are requesting about this video, mostly the med sex. This video is, I'm going to talk about the requirements and how to find an employer here in the US. So yeah guys, I um, I did not go through with an agency, but I was hired. I was a direct hire. Tama ba? Basta yun na yun. So, disclaimer, this is just based on my experience. So, kung iba yung ginawa ng mga other medtechs, yes, it depends. It really depends on you guys kung ano yung manahin nyo. So, yeah, let's get started. First things first, after you um, took the board exam, te magahanap ka na, um, experience so mas mabuti if you'll apply in a um, hospital in which you will be working as a um, generalist meaning you'll be rotated in every sections in the laboratory so you'll be working in um, clinical chemistry microbiology clinical microscopy um, blood banking, immunoserology, and hematology. So seven. And then after, um, while you are working, you need to take the exams. So the first exam that I took was the ACP, Medical Laboratory Scientist ACP exam. ACP exam stands for American Society for Clinical Pathologies. This is just a US exam for medical laboratory scientists. This is a hundred test questionnaires of all the subjects of a um, medical technology program. So this will cost you 200 USD dollars before I paid 10,460 pesos. You will be given a certificate just like this that will um, have your name with um, a credential after your last name, which is the MLS, ACPI. I stands for international. Those um, who graduated outside the US will be having the I after the ACP. The second exam that I took was the IELTS. IELTS exam is the international, international, English language, Testing system. It is an international standardized test of English language proficiency. Um, Tineko is the academic test, and I chose to take it with the British Council. British Council. So mostly, um, mostly self review lang. Parang two months lang ata. After two months ng review, nag take na ako ng exam. Anyway, um, you can take it anytime, um, anytime, whenever you are confident about it, then just go and take it. Okay, so there are four parts of IELTS exam. So the first one is the listening. So you'll just listen to an audio and there's a questionnaire. Second part is the reading. You'll be given a bunch of paragraphs like history or I don't know. It depends on the topic. You'll be given topics and then you'll be given um, questionnaires. So the answers on the questionnaires are on the um, reading. Reading. <coughs> so part three is Writing, guys, di ko may explain yung writing part because I only practice um, writing paragraphs and stuff like that. But 
medyo mahirap siya. A lot of you guys are medyo nahihirapan din sa writing kasi medyo maliit sila mag-score. But, yeah, I survived. For the part 4, um, speaking test, examiner will give you topics and then you'll explain the topics and some of the um, examiners will ask a follow-up questions and you'll just need to um, answer them with like many sentences as you can um, with no fillers. Dapat minimize lang yung blank, uh, yung pauses. You, know, you just need to be confident with your speaking skills and yeah, I think that's what I did. I was so confident. So, I paid 10,040 when I took it. But now, uh, ang new rate nila is 11,650 daw. Tapos, um, both um, IDP and British Council na yan. Yan na yung new rate nila. In US, the score the band score that they need is at least 6.5 overall band score and then you speaking mo dapat at least 7.0 diba kahit anong grades mo sa um ibang parts of the exam as long as um the overall band score is 6.5 pero dapat ang speaking mo 7 talaga walang patawad 7 yun tapos Third document that I processed was the CGF and S visa screen. This is just a certificate that will prove that your credentials from the Philippines is legit. Like your school, mo, college degree, mo, and your PRC or your um, credential as a medical technologist. Yeah. The visa screen is needed also for H-1B filing. So, if you don't have this certificate, you cannot file your H-1B or working visa. The visa screen is valid only for 5 years. So, dapat within 5 years, my um, job offer is from the US. Ito yung um, certificate paper lang siya, but um, you have your name and the picture. And your name as clinical laboratory scientist. And it has an expiry somewhere. Yeah, here. It expires in five years. And then, fourth one is the West Credential Evaluation. Sabi ng iba, um, di daw to needed. Pero, like, nuwa ko lang to, guys, to be sure, para once my employer na ako ready na ng lahat. So basically, West Credential Evaluation, lahat ng grades mo from high school to college, um, they will convert it to US um, scoring system or grade system. Kasi dito sa US, iba, iba yung um, grade system nila, like A, B, C, yung ganun. Tapos, yung kinuha ko is course by course evaluation kasi I don't know what to get. Merong document by document, pero din course by course. So, ang pinakamala is course by course. Pwede din itong gamitin for like, if you wanna get another license from other state, you can also um, use that. Hindi basic yung kinuha ko, yung ICAP din, yung mga additional. Bali, yung ICAP, pwede nila store yung um, transcript mo, so that if you need it again, you can just... Um, request and just pay for the delivery fee. Good! So, madali lang yung West kasi 7 days processing na sila. After 7 days, is send na nila yung um, evaluation. Yun. Yun lang yung 4 I 5 um, things that you need if you want to work here in the US. Okay, the next topic that I'm going to share is <clears throat> about how did I find an employer an employer here in the US so before applying um, you need to compile those five things first so and then after after mo lahat na compile yung documents you need to update your resume pagandahin mo siya meron naman mga sample na um, resume sa Google and 
Yeah, depende na yun sa'yo kung anong lalagay mo. Kung feel mo, maganda yun yung resume mo. Yun. So, I applied sa Indeed. Indeed, um, Glassdoor at LinkedIn. So, every day, I submitted 20 applications. And it's very tiring because I'm still working at that time. But since I really want to um, work here in the U.S., so yun. Parang ano ko na, uh, parang like effort ko na din yun na 20 applications yung um, sinisend ko. Every day I will get um, rejection letters, a uh, rejection email. Tapos meron namang mga um, employers na uh, naging interview pero Ayaw nila sa akin because I only had one year and six months in a hospital setting. Tapos two years naman sa freestanding lab. So yun, um, tiyaga lang talaga. Tiyaga lang talaga guys and pray lang. So after many tries, my employer here in the U.S. Um, offered me a job. They sent me um, an offer letter that states your um, salary per hour and the things that you need to do just like that and if you will accept the offer then um, just send a reply email so yeah um tinanggap ko yon i just prayed na if sino if sino magbibigay ng first offer is yun yun tatanggapin ko so yeah i had um um, offer in South Dakota and in Florida. So, since si South Dakota yung um, na offer first, de dun ako sa South Dakota. Dito ako sa South Dakota. So, yeah. Ang um, maganda sa employer ko, guys, meron silang um, own attorney. So, yung may nag-contact sa akin na attorney, siya yung nag-send ng email sa akin ko ano yung mga dapat kong i-compile na documents which kana which meron na ako guys and then tapos um parang waiting time lang din wait ka lang din ko ano mga updates kung for interview ka na, for interview ka na. and with this employer meron silang um um partner agency in the Philippines so nung time na yon uh, my health care worker ban pero they have an agency med pa they have an agency in the Philippines and nakalusot ako kaya I'm here so yeah if you have any questions or do you want any clarifications with this video just um comment below or send me um, a message on Facebook and Instagram. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye!